Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcome you to episode 63 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And we're going to continue with this room. I save you the trouble of watching me fail and getting back to this, to the start of this room. That's another fake door over there, by the way. Ow. God. There's too much fire in this place. It's not fair. I can't, I can't work with this. Oh, God. Um. Oh, another boulder over there. Why are there so many boulders and fire? Ow. That was very rude attitude of you. You know. Um, is there a door over here that I can reach anytime soon? Looks like there is, and this one's locked, so it can't be fake. A locked door is never fake, and there's a Goron in here. Hello. Hi. I can't save you right now. Can I talk to you? Speak. Okay. Please don't eat me. If you let, if you so, so, if you eat something like me, you'll get a stomach ache. You'll be sorry. I'm not gonna eat a Goron, ew. That would make me a Goron. Guess Gorons eat rocks. Gorons are made of rocks and Yeah. Alright. Ah oh, shit! Shit! I killed you. You got hit on me, but I killed you. Oh, thanks for the hearts, dude. That is very well appreciated. And we're gonna get past this thing by climbing on top of it, I hope. Ouch! Well you don't climb from there, dude, not where the fire's coming out. Duh dummy. And look, a switch over here. Let's press it, because we're a curious little bastard. And da 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 Got to race against time, you guys. And I'm going to fail it now, probably. And I fail. But I know the path now. I normally get that path, but since it's froze freaking dark, because it's on a preview screen on my computer, because I don't have my wing nudge nudge yet, which I thought I was going to get before I started recording the fire temple, but I decided not to, because you guys had waited too long for this, but you didn't listen to a word I just said, did you? Whatever. Anyways, yeah, it's dark, so that's my excuse. But I've made it this far, so... I've made it to episode 63 with this terrible tiny screen. So I must be doing something right. Anyways, this is a fake door. Yeah. If you try to open it, it'll kill you. And it, it was guarding a fake wall, apparently. Anyways, if I'm correct, in the next room, you, you're gonna want a hook shot, maybe. I'm gonna try Deku Nuts, actually. I, know, I wanna see what those do. What those do will do to this guy, the enemy who dances when he attacks. Flashbangs, flashbangs, flashbangs. That doesn't work. Okay, I'll just hookshot you then. Ow. The Goron told me to use daisies or something against you, but I I decided again. Why the fight? Oh my god. Come on, this dude's not hard. I just get let him get a head start on me. That's all. Okay, let's get him with the hookshot. Get him with the hookshot. Thank you. And he comes out, and you just want to hack and slash at him. And after two hits from Big Orange Sword, he will go back into the fire. The fiery, flaming, flaming fire of alliteration. You must die. Silly monster, you must die. Hey, get back here, you bitch. Fine, I'll run the other way. I'll intercept you. Bam. What are you, anyways? Does Navi not tell me? Because there was no option there. Do your job, Navi. This is a flare dancer. Extinguish its flaming clothes first. Well, I don't have water, so I can't really do that. Thank you very much. Apparently bombs ex extinguish its clothes, though. As do hook shots. And die. And you blow up! Oh my god. Nice, you dropped bombs. I'm not really surprised after that big epic explosion you just had. Anyways, so that didn't really unveil anything for us now, did it? Well, you can climb on this platform, I believe, and it's an elevator! It's a secret elevator with something red at the bottom. Looks like someone got kind of underneath it or something, I don't know. And up here, there's another daisy switch. Um, yeah. And over here, there's some more grating. How fun! Uh, I feel like there's supposed to be a sculpture in this room, but then I know that there's not, so... And you're going to want to get your bombs again to cut the daisy switch since we don't have any daisies right now. Let's see if that'll work. Nice. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. What you looking at? Oh my god, this is so epic. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah! I forget what video that's from, but I remember that. That was, that was like a line in a song in a video about something. I don't remember, but I remember. I, I remember, but I don't. Put it that way. What's in here? Oh, this this fun little room. 
you know, this this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the entire game. Except it's not just a bitch, and it's going to be more bitchy on this tiny screen. So what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to use Ferrora's Wind. Yes. That is what I'm going to do right now. Because you, you'll you probably see why. But if I use Ferrora's Wind here, and I'll go over there. So whenever I use it again, I'll just warp back there. Anyways, so you want to climb up here where there's a switch. And you want to be very careful while doing this. And this is going to be like almost impossible for me to do on this tiny little dark screen. But I'm going to try my best. Let's see here. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? Oh my god. No! What a bitch. What a bitch, right? Now I have to backtrack all the way. But I don't. I cast Furore's Wind, return to the warp point, resist spell the warp point, or exit. Return to my warp point. And that brings me right back up here. And now I just make another warp point here. And, um, yeah, sorry if my microphone is, like, there might be a little nicks in my sound in the background or something. That's just because I'm moving my head so much, just so I can get a better view of this thing so it's not as dark. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Try not to fail this time. Because I think that you can only go off those stairs in order to get there. I think if you go the other way, that there is another way, it will be too slow. But anyways, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I can do it. I can do it. God. God. Oh my god. Did I do it? Did I do it? I did it. I did it, you guys. On my second try. Second freaking try, man. And what do we get for this? We get the Megaton Hammer. Which is the same strength as a Goron's arm, as I stated earlier in this temple. Ow! You bitch! You just had to do that, didn't you? Well, thankfully, I have my extra long reach sword, so I got you. I got you, man. Anyways, I can't even see where, my, where I'm going now. All I know is I just have to follow this side of the room to get back. Anyways, oh my god! Ow, you bitch. Well, at least you kind of helped me in getting back up there. Where am I now? I can't see anything. Because it's so freaking dark. Stop complaining about that, dude. They've heard enough. They know it's dark by now. You just shut up now. Uh, where am I? Oh, there's the switch there. Okay, and there's my Forrest Wind Warp Point. And let's get out our new awesome Megaton Hammer. Look at this thing. This is awesome. And you want to smash his face with an iron just like that. And that knocks it down. This can be a very useful little item, but it's hardly, it's not used as much as I, would, as I would like it to be in this game. And, oh god, it's lagging. I'm not surprised, I'm up to like 44 minutes here. But anyways, we just destroy that statue with our awesome power of our Megaton Hammer. The Goron's Arm. Maybe I'll call it that from now on, the Goron's Arm. That sounds kind of cool. Oh my god. Fire keys everywhere, not a drop to drink. Megaton Hammer for the win. Yeah, at least they make you. Ooh, whoa! That's a cool. That's a cool camera angle. I don't care who you are, where you live, or what you eat for breakfast. That is a cool camera angle. And stop hitting me! I'm freaking tired. Oh, oh god! I don't think I was supposed to destroy that crate. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Okay. Cause I think you have to take a crate with you when you go down these stairs. Because there will be a certain little friend from Jabba Jabba's belly here, the evil blue switch of doom. And we just go in through. What? That was gay. Stay on there, you stupid box. Alright. Thank you. What? Alright, fine. We'll do this. We'll do this the noobs way. We'll stand on it first. Okay. And then we'll put the box on it. How do you like that? There. You made me waste like 20 seconds, but I did it. Anyways, and smash his face with an iron again. And fall down the hole, bitch. Climb up here, and we're actually back in... This switch looks best. Really? I hadn't noticed. I, I really hadn't noticed, you know? I, I thought that orange was like... I don't know. Just like silly putty or something. Anyways, yeah. You might recognize this room. Oh, uh, I know I do. Anyways, you want to hit the switch with the Megaton Hammer. Because if you just step on it, it won't do any good. Because it's rusted. Thank you, Navi, for telling us that. And we're back in here now. Let's cross over. Or not. Um. 
Well, how are we going to get back up there in the next episode, you guys? I don't know, but there's a Goron that we have to free here still. So, find out how we're going to get up there in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Uh, in this episode, we got the Megaton Hammer and stuff. It was all good. Um, I, I, I got kind of bored at some points, which might have caused my commentary to fail a bit. But, you guys are just going to tell me that it, would, it, it didn't, and I was awesome. So, thank you for that. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.